Welcome back, my name is Benji and today I want to welcome you to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 for the 12th episode of our Yolo Cometa career mode, the third part of season 2. Today we're going to do some racing in preparation of the Giro, we're going to take on the Tour of the Alps, which is a 5 day stage race including 2 mountain stages, 3 hill ones. Afterwards we've got both the Velta Asturias with 1 mountain stage and 2 hill stages and also a 1 day race in Italy, the Circuito del Porto. So, some preparation quite simply and I hope to get some W's here or there so we can uh, go to the Giro with a happy feeling. In addition to the happy feeling, I do want to also give my sponsor the happy feeling with stage wins in the Tour of the Owls because that's what they are requesting. I think it's possible with the team we have. Parkour wise, we start off with a real Wackerman slash Kovi stage. On day two, we've got a Wackerman slash Kovi stage. On day three, we've got a Wackerman slash Kovi stage. On day 4 we've got a Wackerman slash Kovi stage and on day 5 we've got perhaps a Wackerman slash Kovi slash Aru slash Fortunato stage. So it's all labeled Aeolo to me. And we're also simply sending a godlike team over here. We've got Kovi, Aru, Fortunato, Wackerman, Fancelu, Albanese and Ravazzi. Let's get started. It's not the hardest stage so I do want to go pretty ham on that final hill because... We gotta get rid of the start list. We've got sprinters like Maresco, Cavendish. We've also got Viviani. So if I can get rid of those, then I think we've got an option here. Wait, did Fortunato already have 77 mountain on default? I can't remember. I don't think so. That's awesome. Nice. I'm really happy with that. Final climb's about to begin. Mark Padun is pacing, so let's watch out that he doesn't drop us, Padun style. Nonetheless, I do think we can keep ourselves safe here. I just don't really want to completely destroy Fortunato and Aro, you know, because they are technically my GC leaders if uh, the final stage is too hard for Wackerman and Kovi. I'll try and lower the tempo a bit towards 75 because Aro is having trouble and we're just about to cross the top. If I can get over the stop with Aro in the wheel, then I think we can get him to the line. That's going to work out perfectly. There we go. Kovi looking fine. Perfect lead out right now. NHL's on our riders. And we've got no real competition, I think, for this sprint. So I think that these two riders, Wackerman and Kovi, are going to have to fight it out between themselves here. Unless I try and give a lead out, but it's not necessary if the road keeps on going downhill. Let's try and launch right now with Wackerman. Kovi in the wheel, perfect. Oh my god, that was weird. <laughs> Bit of a shake up there. Let's try and launch with Kovi. Everybody can launch. Another corner upcoming, I don't like that. Oh, let's hope we've got enough acceleration in all these corners because Bilbao otherwise might take it. Wackenman still takes it. Because <laughs> of all these corners. Crazy stuff. A W for us. 1-2 with Wackenman and Kovi and the first leader Jazzy. Honestly, a good looking shirt for Wackenman here. Taking the first lead. Six seconds on Bilbao. Let's try and do that again. The question is, can I get these riders over the Yaufen Pass? If I can, then Kovi and my boy... Wackerman will be the ones I'm going for, likely Kovi, because despite Wackerman being in the lead jersey, Kovi actually has a fitness peak, so that should work out fine. I'm kind of scared that these riders have a fitness peak right now, because they're supposed to have it a bit later in the actual Giro, you know? Climb starting, the Yalfen Pass with the Peloton, Kovi's gonna be the man that we protect, Wackerman is simply not looking good, so I don't believe he can get over the climb, I might protect him just in case, but... Not really the leader I'm looking for. I'm doing my usual strategy because this is quite a long climb and it's working out quite well. Fortunato and Aru in the wheel because I don't know why, just because I felt like it. Aru will be helping out Kovi whenever Albanese is done for, so I guess that's what's going on right now. There we go. 2k to the top. We're gonna keep on going. Fortunato can protect Kovi now. Let's try and catch up with the rest in these last 1.5 kilometers towards the top. We've got. The entire team of Inyas up there, Sivakov, Rodriguez and so forth. One kilometer to go, let's try and reduce the tempo a tiny bit so we can survive. It's looking good, it's looking good. We've got at least Kovi surviving. Let's go 73 again and let's try and get over this climb, perhaps in fast. Because I could get KOM points if I do that. Let's try and move forward. And let's see if we can just move up and punch a bit towards the top. There we go. Let's see if we drop anybody doing that. Mostly uh, our own energy, but 13 people left, so that's the good thing. Gonna try and go ham in the descent with Fortunato and recover fully with Kovi in the process. 6.5k to go, NHL on Fortunato, and the climb is about to begin, so let's get ready for the madness. 
Fortunato looking fine. Energel on Kovi right now. And the climb is starting. Here we go. 4.5, 4.3. Novak in the wheel. Where's Bilbao? I think he's a bit more towards the back of the group. Aru is not in the group, unfortunately. Let's try and catch up again in the meanwhile. There we go. We're going to keep on going. 93. Let's go back down to 87, 88. I don't want to put any pressure on Kovi. I want the W here. Can get on the right together with Simon Yates. Let's keep on going. 2.5, 2.7. We got to keep up this tempo. I expect some attack pretty soon. And then we got to try and respond. This does seem to tone down a tiny bit, right? In a second after this top here. But at this point, I do want to start my sprint already, I think, or not. Let me take a look at the profile again. <laughs> I'm not sure about it. So I think it's like 500 meters downhill and then 500 meters uphill. I'm going to launch my sprint. YOLO it. Let's give it a try. On the right. There we go. Let's hope this is enough. Here we go up. Oh, it's still a long way to go. 400 meters. Let's see if it's enough. We might get beaten on the line. We might get beaten on the line. No, 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 no. Kovi takes it. Second stage win in a row. He's going to take over the leader jersey from his teammate. Wackerman, who finishes on over six minutes. We've now got 10 seconds on Sivakov, 12 seconds on Bilbao and Juan Ayuso. So looks like that man is growing like a crazy one as well. Caruso in fifth, also a Bahrain rider. In all honesty, I'm talking about Bahrain being uh, up there in GC. But look at Ineos, second, sixth, seventh, eighth and eleventh. Crazy teamwork there. But unfortunately for them, there's one rider better than them at the moment. That's Alessandro Kovi. Onto a short stage, 100 kilometers, but a flat ending after an uphill section. So, yeah, this is written on the name of Kovi, to be honest. I don't think that we can lose this one, seeing how the other two stages have gone. Let's hope I'm not jinxing it. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, Wakerman punctured and the rest just waited on him because <laughs> they were in his wheel. <laughs> How does that even happen? <laughs> I gotta try and get to the peloton again. Come on. Come on, guys. Wait. Wait on our team. Damn it, Wackerman. Why did you have to puncture with everybody in your wheel? Now it's gonna be like a game of us chasing the peloton for like 90 kilometers. I can feel it already. We're currently 2 minutes and 15 seconds behind the front of the race. All thanks to Wackerman's puncture. <laughs> what a start to the stage. Fucking crazy. Let's try and get back. Thing is, they just keep on going. It's not like they're waiting on anything. 2.49. I think we might genuinely lose this damn race because of Wackerman's puncture. I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. I can't wrap my head around it. We've got a crash up front, which is arguably good for us, even though we don't enjoy laughing at other people's crashes. But we're way behind still. 2 minutes 30, so... Slowly but surely trying to reel ourselves towards the front of the race, but it's gonna be really tough. Come on, very close towards the group. 99 it. There we go. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Kovi, sit up. Fortunato, protect you. And now wait. God damn it. Crisis averted. All because of Wackerman's puncture. Crazy start. Looks like we're gonna survive this ascension, the Lago di Santa Colomba, in the elite group. So that's a good thing. About 20 people left and not exactly the people that can beat us 1v1 in a sprint. Perhaps Ulysses, so let's watch out for him. But otherwise, let's try and set Kovi up for the stage. 8.5k to go. It's about to go down. I don't think Fortunato's making the top here, though. I expect attacks fairly soon by Carlos Rodriguez and such. Ponceva not looking fine as well. What's the stats like? 77 hill. Let's keep ourselves up here. Let's lower it so we might not lose Fortunato. Nah. He's going to be gone anyway. Attack by Bilbao. Caruso. Going to try and keep going at this tempo. I don't have the response towards Caruso like that. Port going as well. Let's go 89 perhaps. Fortunato's done for. It's now Kovi time to try and get back to their wheel ASAP. And hopefully it works out. It's only 6 kilometers, So I dare to say we could be able to do so. 5.8k. Does anybody want to work with me in this group? That's the question. Port seems to be done for, and the tempo's out again. And that's an attack, that's an attack. I'm not ready to respond. Yates goes for it. 88. Oh, come on, Kovi. We're almost at the top, my man. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get to the wheel, get to the wheel, get to the wheel. Yes, 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 yes. Who do I follow, Vlazov? I think I follow Vlazov. 
3.5k to go. Come on, Golvi. Hang on. We're recovering slightly in the wheel of Lazov. And it seems like Yates is done for. So I can move forward myself. It is simply a slightly uphill sprint. Gonna try and go myself right now with Golvi. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, easy. Easy W. Yes, indeed. Golvi takes it. Even takes second. So a way to celebrate. Now I can celebrate. Yes, indeed. Hopefully those are significant seconds and... I hope I don't lose that on the final stage on those mountain stages. Technically, this feels like the uh, second stage again. So, Colby Sledge Rucker on time. I'm guessing with that form of Colby, we're gonna have to go for him, obviously. So, let's see if we can pull it off. Fortunato has fallen. That's a bit of a bummer. Definitely at this point in the race. Guess we're just gonna forget about him and pretend he didn't exist. So, not a very interesting stage so far, except for the fact that. Fortunato dropped, well, because of a crash, and then Fancello dropped as well. So I decided to pretend they didn't exist and continued onwards. Kovi and Aru are the leaders right now. Gonna try and keep themselves to the front, perhaps go for a sneaky attack with Aru near the top so we can put some pressure on people, but we won't do that if Kovi's suffering. So it really depends on Kovi if we go offensive or not. This is actually going really good. 2.5k towards the top. Aru setting the pace for Kovi. The rest of the team done for. And riders are dropping one by one in this group. Croatian champion Rumak still available. Polans and so forth also here. But ah, looks like people are suffering. 1.5 to go. I might go for a sneaky move with Aru. I told you so. Let's see if we can do it. Right. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Not too early. Let's wait a bit longer. We don't have too much energy on Aru though. So we can't wait too long. And we're going to go right now I think. There we go. Aru with the move towards the top. Kovi in the wheel. People are dropping one by one, I hope. Sosa gone. So next to Namastik for uh, Ineos gone. Let's try and go ham with Kovi in the descent a bit. Oh, should we though? It's not that steep. So I think we might be better off just recovering and going for the sprint we are so good at. So let's try and do that. 4.5k to go. And we've got them waiting now. Board and Yates going. Gotta try and keep going. Gotta try and keep going. Let's not spend too much energy. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. And let's try and go 70 right now. Let's try and lower it. Let's try and recover a tiny bit with R where possible. So we can potentially use him as a lead out. Energy gel on both. Let's go towards 65. Let's wait longer. Let's wait longer. Let's wait longer. Come on, Aru. Come on, Aru. Let's start your sprint. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Is this the send? I think it looks like a bit of a descent. Not that big of a deal. Let's go right now with Aru. Kovi in the wheel. Kovi in the wheel. Let's go with Kovi. There we go. On the right. Kovi's gonna take it again. Sivakov versus Kovi. Ah, it looks like it's Kovi again. Yes, indeed. Three victories in a row for Kovi. <laughs> Four for the team. Bloody brilliant. I wonder how many stages we can keep on winning. I think that this might be the last one. Because I swear the next one is a very difficult one to potentially win. And might be the one where we uh, have trouble keeping our lead in the GC. So let's take a look at the profile. I think it's all about survival. If we can get over that second climb on the plateau section and hold on. Then we're going to win the sprint. So we got to try and get to that level. Everyone on the team needs to help out. Kovi reach the top of that damn climb. I decided to put Ravazzi at the front because this is a huge breakaway of like 18 riders and... I don't want them to get too much of a gap, so I might even try and go hard on the uh, second cat climb to try and catch them already. I did exactly that. Looks like Ravazzi's done for, so let's try and have him recover a tiny bit in the group while Fancelu takes over and hopefully he can set some tempo towards the top. I do want to get rid of this breakaway ASAP because it's too large and if I give it too much of a gap then it's gonna take the stage and I do want the five stage in a row. About that, by the way... We should nickname Kovi because if he wins today, we've got four wins in a row. That's insane. So that's your job. Drop below in the comment section what nickname Kovi should get during this player through. We're going to try and go all or nothing for Kovi here. So Aru's going to be protecting him from the start of this climb. And Fortunato and the wheel are two best climbers. We're going to try and use Fancillo and Albanese to set the tempo at the start of the climb. Because I do want this breakaway called ASAP. They still have three minutes 50. But I have heavily reduced in numbers. As you can see, only like six riders up front. So if we can keep this going, then that would be nice. I'm curious whether somebody will take over now that Albanese is done for. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put 
my own riders at the front, which is Corvi and such. Because despite that being a six-man group, it's still 1 minute 30 with a descent coming. So I want to try and catch them, you know. So let's see if we can do that ourselves. 40 seconds, four people left. Three riders of UAE, Polans, Ulysses and Conti together with Nox. This is the top over there, so we can go a bit harder. We've got a plateau section to take care of though. So let's not explode ourselves. But if we can catch up with the breakaway right here, that would be ideal. 49 seconds. UAE squad is dropping Nox, it seems, but also Polans. Two riders are gone. I'm scared for the upcoming uphill section, though. That's really scary. But it looks like we're catching the second group, at least. Gonna try and take over with... Nah, not yet. Let's try and do this for now. It's not that long of a climbing section. If Corvi can hold on, that would be nice. We're on the plateau section, and... There we go. We've got them on the plateau section in the middle of the descent. Aru can keep on going 99, and I'll try and switch that towards Fortunato with an attack move right now. There we go. Aru's done for. Oh, he blocked Kovi a bit, but there goes the attack. Fortunato and Kovi. Hausen not directly responding. Can we keep this up through the descent? I think we have a gap. Albanese down. Wackerman gone. Oh, lolo. It's not at the front, but that's bad. They both crash together. Let's hope they stand up. In the meanwhile, we got to keep on attacking right there. What's this? Yep, yeah, they're keeping up the race. That's good. We've been caught, probably because I looked at Wackenman and such. It's not ideal. But it's still like 10k to go after the descent. So I might be best off just playing it defensively. I'm not sure about it. Ooh, still a small gap between Yates and Kobe. Perhaps at the bottom we can punch in the attack. Perhaps that will help. There we go. Tree right is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Keep on going. Let's go. 95 Fortunato. Energy shell. Come on, come on, come on. Keep on hammering it. Ah, 13 seconds on Sivakov pushing hard for Rodriguez. Can we keep it up with Fortunato though? That would be ideal and we are caught. Damn it! Sivakov, goodness sake! 2.7 kilometers, let's try and move towards 95. 99, Aru can go right now. There we go. Kovi in the wheel, Kovi in the wheel. Final kilometer incoming, I'm gonna try and launch right now with Kovi versus Simon Yates. Looks like Kovi takes it. We got it. Four in a row for Kovi. Five in a row for Aeolo Cometa. This Tour of the Alps has been a godly blessing for the team. Victories left and right. And the overall GC. What a masterpiece. 36 seconds on Simon Yates. 40 seconds on Caruso. But it doesn't matter. We win the Tour of the Alps with Alessandro Kovi. Beautiful. And our sponsor objective of winning a stage is certainly done. Because we won five of them. Looking at noteworthy results, you can see that the GC is also pretty cool. It gives us one plus in the important screen. It's a bit weird that it has pluses here and not stars or anything like that. I don't know. It feels like uh, they could just have used the importance star thing on that page, in my opinion. Now, that was a spectacular race, but not the final one of the episode. We've got Velta Asturias and the uh, flat stage in Italy still to go. Considering it's a mixture of races that already exist and I don't like that, I might not play it. So I guess I'm gonna simulate it and we'll see how good our team does here without us controlling them. Party at EF Education first, it seems, with a 1-2 of Higita and Uran ahead of Groschartner. We finished uh, 19 for Dina. Let's see what he does on the Angliru. Very steep climb. We know the Angliru towards the end. It becomes extremely steep. So let's try and quick submit and take a look if Dina can perform. Turns out we've got a better rider in our team. Alejandro Ropero, the legend himself in 11th, just ahead of Dina. So it seems like the roles were reversed. Enric Mas taking home the victory here on top. Now the final stage, let's simulate this one. I don't expect too much from this one, to be honest. And it's our best one. <laughs> Sixth for Dina, GC a top 10. So I guess not too bad for a simulated race. It's that time of the year, everyone. Yes, indeed. Transfer dossiers. I'm looking forward to this one. We've got Bennett, Medellin and Port interested in our team, but I'm not sure I'm too interested in them. I'll have a think about it. We will try and sign Peter Sagan. Yes, indeed. I looked through the transfers and we need a signing that can bring us to World Tour and Peter Sagan is the name that can do so together with our youngsters that grow. So I think that's a perfect move. It was a choice between Peter Sagan or a Merlier or a Bennett and so forth. And in all honesty, I want to take a nation that fits with our team. Sure, Slovakia is not exactly Italy or Spain, but 
it's very different from adding a Belgian rider to the team, it feels to me. We could have also gone for Viviani, but I feel like I can do more with a Sagan than with a Viviani, and that's why I'm choosing to go for Sagan. Sure, in real life, Iolo might sign Viviani and so forth, but we won't be able to stay on the same path as the real life team so long. Like, we've already changed path. Oldani's not signing for Iolo in real life, so yeah. I feel like it's a good choice to go this way. We won't be able to sign too much more than him, I'm afraid, because we've got plenty of riders from our own team that we need to re-sign. But we'll take a look and we'll see in the next couple of months in the game whether uh, we can achieve even more than Sigan in our team. On to our Italian flat race then. Circuito del Porto, we've got old Dani here, so he's going to be our spear point. About that, we've got a minus five on old Dani. <laughs> oh my god, puncture old Dani. <laughs> come on, it's not that far. Come on, come on, come on. I need to get everybody towards him because I actually like... He's not in good form. I might as well just skip him, right? Gonna go for Albanese. Fuck it. While we have Piganzoli at the front, let's take a look at the map because as you can see, Peloton is now right there. But the run in towards the finish line is insane. Corners everywhere, which means that I'm gonna have to go early with everybody. Like every single soul in our team needs to go early. And that starts right now with Fraporti moving up already. Piganzoli getting out of the way because the last two kilometers will be left right left right and we're gonna save so much energy in the corners that we can launch with like 2.5k to go with our sprinter i'm guessing so i'm gonna actually uh yolo it and do exactly that we're gonna start our sprint with for the party right now at 3.5k to go pay i can go already there we go and i want ac in the wheel perfect we're gonna try and launch fairly soon why not right now there we go ahead of this corner we've got toto right here versus albanese all these bloody corners, plenty of energy left still. And as you can see, it's just a matter of trying to keep ourselves to the front and now trying to come out. We're gonna have Mareshko trying to catch us. Tiza versus Albanese! No! <laughs> on the line! <laughs> come on, Marco, damn it! Ah, uh, Albanese comes second here, but we took that run in very cleverly looking at the map first. Absolute heartbreak in the final stage of this episode, really sad. Second place for Vincenzo Albanese, the closest he's ever gotten to a stage win, I think, for our team. I don't recall him winning something for Iolo in the last two years here. Yeah. Anyway, that's where we will end today's episode. I really enjoyed it, our preparation for the Giro and some really fun racing. All in all, very much looking forward to starting the Giro d'Italia and I'll be revealing our 8th rider on the start list at the start of the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.